Hi my friends, how's it going? It's Eldimus, and I have more of the skirmish event games I did for you guys here today. Going through a few matches with you at the moment here, up against, as you can see, a Frost Death Knight and a Fury Warrior. So, almost a mirror comp. Almost, except arms is obviously better for the cleave, although the Fury pressure has me a little concerned. So happy he's able to get in and get the charge off. Decided to trinket that right off the bat. Save the fear till the death knight was a little bit closer. I think I barely missed him. As you can see in chat, the strat is to just probably cleave them both down. So luckily, because we're all melee classes, we're all going to be standing right on top of each other, which is perfect for me. They're both melting so fast. There's almost no commentary that really needs to be said. Or there's nothing really that I can say about it other than it worked completely in our favor and we definitely had the upper hand that match. Simply because of the Death Knight pressure and then the cleave damage that comes just from being an arms warrior. Um, not really a show of skill or anything there, just kind of a cool match. This time coming up against a Rep Paladin and a Fury Warrior with a different teammate this time. Uh, with an Elemental Shaman, which I was a little concerned about going into the match, not going to lie. Using the random group finder. Pop the fear again right off the bat there. Wanted to pump as much damage into both of them as I can to get the die by the sword out. There's the blade storm going. I've canceled a little bit early so I could get off and keep helping to peel for my shaman. Uh, Rally and cry goes up. The warrior is popping no defensives and he goes down relatively quickly, thank god. Now it's on to the red who did manage to kill my shaman friend. So, trying to play smart here. Keep an eye on what cooldowns I have, which ones I don't. There's the storm bolt. He is immune to it. He popped bubble right as I cast it. I was pretty pissed. Um, I think if I would have got him in the stun, I might have been able to get one over their attack off, and I might have been able to finish him off, but he was able to get the bubble off. I did land that shatter, as you can see, so now it's just a race against time, more or less, and trying to see whose pressure is better. A little concerned, just because if he's not hitting me, I'm not doing damage, but since it's a 1v1, he really has no choice but to hit me. Uh, Stormbolt went into there, and after I had him in that last Stormbolt, I knew there was nothing he could do about it, and I had it. In this match, we've got the Discipline Priest Frost Death Knight combo with, yet again, another teammate. Um, I go through more teammates do doing skirmishes than I go through socks, I swear. Um, haven't played Double Warrior in a long time. The strat was Priest, I think. Uh, I didn't really hear anything from my teammates, so I just decided to keep going Priest. Uh, Priest did Trinket there, which was good for us. My warrior friend was already laying in and going hard with the pressure. Uh, my friend did pop... The die by the sword to keep himself alive, and as you can see, we did knock that priest out very, very quickly. It's hard to mitigate two points of pressure from uh, arms warriors. It's just a difficult thing to do. Now, the scary thing, of course, is if this death knight is good, he could still technically beat both of us. So I'm not wanting to just throw things away. I'm still wanting to keep peels on my warrior friend if I can, as best I can. Keeping hamstring, keeping thunderclap going, putting all the pressure that I possibly can into the fight just to keep my friend alive because I'm not sure how well I would do against a death knight. Um, my ability to fight death knights goes back and forth. But again, once I had that storm bolt, I was in a pretty pretty happy spot. Got the charge off there as the execute and he's going to sit there in purgatory for a little bit, but that's about it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these matches. Not really a whole lot of show of skill in these ones, but that's okay because sometimes matches are just fun and worth sharing because of that fact alone. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.